Oh yeah, it's uh, it's that time again. It's that time of the month, as they always say in the uh, the Muslim Federation. Welcome back to everybody's favorite video series, where I look at terrible Steam games. Uh, it's so good that YouTube won't let me earn money from it. Oh shucks! If I, if only there was a really cool website you could go to right now that has a pretty damn cool sale for you to go ahead and help support the channel, because these videos certainly don't make me any goddamn money. But yeah, uh, thanks to everyone that has bought any merch. It's still on sale. I know a lot of stuff is sold out right now, but specifically I, I do know that the boy t-shirts uh, The play cool math game t-shirts are still in stock, but uh, enough selling out Let's go ahead and try and find some strategy map games today. That's right I need some intellectual video games today, and we're gonna start off by just searching map. Let's see what we find Ah, Of course Doom Eternal, very famous map game. Okay, so other than, you know, obviously Euro Truck Simulator 2 Map Booster, I don't actually think any of these video games really have anything to do with map. Oh, ne never mind, Scratch Out found it immediately. Danko and Treasure Map, my my favorite video game about map game. Oh, okay, this, ad this actually looks like something that would be on cool map games. It, it literally does, doesn't it? We're going rogue right now, okay? I've gone ahead and switched out from map to simply geography. I know, we're getting pretty wild in here today. Do I want to buy Pixel Puzzles Ultimate Geography Jigsaw Collection for 48 pounds 13 pennies? To be fair, it's down from 60 pounds and 54 pennies. Oh my god, look at that. They've even got the Jigsaw Puzzle Pack Pixel Puzzles Ultimate Korea DLC! Okay. Uh, this is technically a map geography quiz. We're doing it three ninety nine for something that's probably on BuzzFeed quizzes for free. Oh, oh, you spoil me, video game. Of course, I'll be running geography quiz on fantastic quality. Let's go straight away. That's a map, technically a globe, and I'm a little bit of wreck. Well, unsurprisingly, it is a geography game. <laughs> Wait, you just go ahead. Look at this though, I'm making record time! Oh! I'm a freestyle man! You know, honestly, I think it's about time. I think it's time I go ahead and transition into a full-time geography quiz YouTube channel. Okay, so something that I'm not a big fan of is the fact as, as I keep moving this map, it, you know, it just gets more and more distorted. Cut down, I, I have no control over this globe whatsoever, but I, here we go. We've got, we got it kind of straight right now, let's just go ahead, yep. That was Paraguay. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Uruguay's down here. Whoops. I did an oopsie. Uh, okay, I moved over to Australia. Everything's upside down. I, I'm real. This is this is an extra challenge in, in geography quiz the video game. <laughs> the map, the globe is just 100% upside down now. You know, it, it's giving me a, a slight headache, but I, I'm, I'm still working with what I got. Uh oh. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put all this down to me not knowing Africa's borders to um, simply the fact that post-colonialism simply butchered this area so much I, it's impossible for me to tell but um, this one? No, not that one. No, no, there we go, finally got it. Sorry, how could I tell? How could I tell the difference between them? Oh! Oh no, that's a hot take! You can't put Taiwan on here! This, is this game sold in China, by any chance? I need to go check the reviews. Oh, yeah, of course. I know exactly where the Ivory Coast is. It's right. Oh, wait, I forgot them. That joke's ended right there, but Ireland's right here. I don't know why I keep playing this. Um, I'm, I'm just sort of endlessly clicking on stuff. Um, Greenland, that's topical. Uh, Donald, Donald Trump actually wanted to buy Greenland recently. Not entirely sure why. Bit of a shit. Oh, okay, I think it's time we leave it about there. Uh, <clears throat> fun game, guys. Ah, uh, screw it. I, I know nothing about U.S. states. I think everyone already knows that. I, I can do the, you know, general map of the world other than, like, just this area of Africa. But, um, yeah, California, of course, easy one. PZ, lemon squeezy. Hawaii, you know, that's another easy one. Nevada. I know it's next to, like, California, so maybe here? But there we go. Colorado, somewhere in the middle with the Rockies, right? Boom, there you go. Washington! Uh, that one, yep, yeah, okay, Florida, Florida's an easy one, Alaska, another easy, this is the first level, by the way, it's getting all the easy ones out the way, New York, it's the big fat one, uh, uh, Mississippi, just like that, monetization's gone, thanks, Mississippi! Okay, so it's somewhere here, no, 
Okay, that's Arkansas. We know that now. That's... There we go. Right there. 100%! I know everything about America! Oh, well, <laughs> don't want to say I already know this one, but it's, it's Arkansas right there. It's above, uh, I think that's Louisiana, and next to Mississippi. God, you idiot. Vermont. I think that's up here, isn't it? Vermont's like... No. There we go. I was close. Uh, Iowa! All I know is that Slipknot are from Iowa. That's a kind of Frenchy looking flag, so... Look at that. Look at that, I'm perfect. Maine! Uh, somewhere over here, right? But, again... <laughs> Where? It's, it's somewhere around here. I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now things are getting pretty complicated. I don't know where the hell Missouri is, but we're just gonna go ahead and say... Hold on, let me close my eyes. Oh my gee! Pennsylvania! I know that's somewhere in the northeast. Uh, yeah, I assumed it'd be next to New York. Uh, Kentucky. I think I know Kentucky. It's like this one or this one. Yep, it's that one. Nebraska! Is that that one up here? No, that's Montana that I was thinking of. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I was never gonna get that. Uh, Utah. Um... Somewhere up here, I don't know where Utah is. Ah, the hint is that it is. <laughs> it's a squarish type state. <laughs> okay, let's look for the square. There it is, right there. It's Utah, baby. I got a score of zero. Oh god, Ohio. Okay, Ohio's like here somewhere, right? Yeah. Okay, I know that one. Delaware. Delaware is like uh, that one. Nope. Uh, that one, 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 somewhere over here, right? I'm sure I'll get it eventually. I'm, I've probably clicked on it, you know? You never know. I have no idea then. Where the hell is it? I swear it's like over here, right? I'm not being crazy. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, blo I'm blowing my mind. Where is Delaware? Anyone know where Delaware is? I I'm gonna keep clicking. We'll just keep clicking until we find it. I swear it was over here though, because I've seen it in like video games, like Hoi 4. Where is Delaware? Okay. I looked it up because I was pretty sure it was this one here, but when I click on it, I'm confused. I think I think the game's just glitched because I, I'm pretty sure this is Delaware, like right there. Cause it, it... Okay, I'm gonna go shoot myself. Oh, sorry, my bad. We got to Maryland, which is conveniently also known as also Delaware. You see, it's just. Get out of Delaware overnight! <sighs> I need to leave a review for this. <laughs> Forgetful dictator. A powerful dictator has everything he needs to conquer the world except a grasp of basic geography. <laughs> Uh, okay, it's another quiz game, except this one looks a lot more interesting than the other one. <laughs> I, I think if one of the reviews is dodgy game, it's fun and all, but buggy UI that feels like it's mining crypto. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't get this one. Okay, I saw I saw it by highest price just to see what the best tax expense would be in regards to this. And apparently the Activision collection is £644. What the hell is in this thing? Oh, shucks. Yeah, it's like, oh, there's actually quite a few games in here, you know. All their old ones like Gun, the old cowboy game. That's pretty fun. I played that on PS2. Call of Duty 2, that's a real good one. Vampire the Masquerade, very good game. 3D Ultra Mini Golf Adventures! <laughs> Baby, baby. Uh, I, I do appreciate that my preferences are configured to warn me about this kind of mature content for that 3D golf man. Oh, oh my Jesus! Is it actually 207 pounds for Crusader Kings 2 for all the stuff now? What the heck? You know, I think I'm kind of like realizing looking at all these uh, map games is that if you look at like games, you know, like Wars of Napoleon, um, let's go look at the screenshots here. You see that? Yeah, it looks like a map with little figures on it. And then you look at a game like Civil War 2, uh, it's a map with little figures on it. You realize 
All these games are the goddamn same and they're all trash. Oh my god, but sometimes you just find a diamond in the grand strategy rough right here. Stars Order 7 horse racing. Let's put some bets on, boys. Oh, found this little gem, though. It's uh, the great strategy bundle. It's got imperialism, the dark continent. It's got imperialism, the fate of India, and trains of the Orient, which is... Uh, it's got negative reviews, apparently. What's wrong with this game, boys? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Just, just meh. I, yep, yeah, I don't like it. All, all of these games are, like, mostly negative. Okay, we're gonna try out, um, Imperialists of the Dark Continent. Why not? There are other games, and, uh, we, we, it's really, it's really an odd mix of stuff they've put out, such as, you know, Imperialism, Fate of India, you know, Imperialism, the Dark Continent, and then Snowballed, Crazy Downhill. Did they also release a game called Guilty Summer Kiss 2 Bloody Secret? What the hell? Oh, and then they, they've also removed it off of Steam. They did a hot milk principle together with her two daughters. Tiny bit incest-ish, but actually hella fun. I want to play this game instead of goddamn. All right. I had no idea what I'm expecting here, but it's not a lot. All right. So this is like obviously a game about colonizing Africa during the late 19th century. Century. If you don't know much about it, I'm about to tell you everything you need to know. First of all, that flag is not accurate at all. The year is 1872, the 3rd of January, and Belgium has ambitions to colonize all of Africa. Now, historically, Belgium got the, uh, the Congo Free State down here, to which it did some very... Um, some very bad things to that place. So, you, you know what, this time around, we'll go ahead and we'll do, you know, what they probably should have done in the first place and just, you know, not, first of all, do that to the people who live in the Congo. And second of all, instead, go ahead and colonize somewhere over here and try to, uh, you know, ruin Britain's life. Oh my Jesus. I think this is the slowest, most painful game <laughs> I've ever played. I'm at two speed right now, and I'm still just waiting forever for Belgium to colonize this one damn province. Boom! Baby! Belgium is now on the Africa map, and here is our first province. I've never played this game before, by the way, so I have no idea what we're supposed to do next, but I'm just... I just built something. <laughs> Oops, is so damn slow. Why is there only the option of two times speed? I need, I need like 12 speed right now. Is this supposed to keep me interested? Uh, what? What is that noise? What? Is it, is it just suddenly making a noise every day that counts down now? What the hell is this? I, I was just looking at my phone, I got so bored. Oh, look, you, uh, my, my sawmill is completed. I now get plus three daily gains of gold, which uh, I need... How much do I need to get another... I need 125 to get another province to explore, and I need 100 crown? I need 100 crowns to colonize a province. So, I guess I'll just go away for a bit and hopefully there's some of Africa left for me to get. <sighs> do, you think, do, you, do you think Cheat Engine works on this game? Should we, should we go find out? Oh yeah, I, I sure, I'm sure I'm being a hacker man right now. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? This game's so bad. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's, you know, just, I just have to do it to him. <laughs> Hold on, wait a sec. I think I just figured out how, like, warfare works. Uh, let's just go ahead and attack Egypt. And what you do is you just... You should do that. Oh, I don't have enough money for that. I already spent it. Hold on. Uh, just do that. We've got an 82% chance of a... Uh, there you go. I won. I just, I, just, I just... I just threw so much gold at Egypt, I managed to kill someone. Uh, okay, there we go. I, I beat the game, everyone. Look, it's, it's the great Belgian colonial empire of just a big mess through the middle of Africa. I'm sure, uh, you know, a couple hundred years from now, they'll still be trying to figure out exactly what was going on here and all the... The um, strife I probably caused to all these provinces. Sorry about that, guys. Um, that's my bad. All right, let's just go ahead and leave a review for that one. Pretty good game. Would recommend. Lol. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, didn't get much games today, but I've been recording for far too long already, so we'll just leave it off for there for today. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like at the subscribe button down below and tell me what other terrible games I should be looking for next time on Steam. I'm sure there's. So many more genres to look at. Just Jesus Christ, no more of whatever the hell that last game was.